What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video on Zero Hour. Today we're going to be talking about an update that was just announced not too long ago. They announced that they were going to be bringing like a bigger update to Zero Hour. I mean, these guys dropped like a bunch of frequent updates, but this is an actual big content drop to bring more people back into the fray. The main reason I'm talking about this is because they actually sent me a key so that I could actually hop into the private server to try it out myself. Now, unfortunately, I'm not able to actually show anything. So I am going to try my best to describe what I saw and tell you my impressions. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that we're going to talk about is a brand new weapon that's going to be added to the suspect team. The name of the weapon is called the Rattler. Gun nuts will probably look at that and say, that's an MP7 and you'd be right. But I'm sure the maker of the MP7 wouldn't like the actual name being in the game unless it had a license. So for now, it's called a Rattler until otherwise. But anyways, this is a gun that's getting added to the suspect team. So not only will defenders have a MAC-10, but they'll also get the MP7. And attackers will of course be able to pick it up if they kill defenders. And I must say that the gun is actually way more accurate than the MAC-10. But unfortunately, the animations that come with this weapon, at least at the time of this recording, did not look that good. They're basically using the same MAC-10 animation for reloading, which I I kind of hope that they switch that up into something else. But I mean, I understand that they don't have an animator. So I'm not really sure if that animation is going to improve by the time that this update drops. I highly doubt that it is, but who knows? Let's push on to the next thing here. They're adding a brand new map called Bank Heist. It is the first map, as far as I know, where you can actually spawn on the roof as an attacker. I think what's supposed to happen is that there's supposed to be a helicopter there. But at the timing of the recording, you were just basically spawning on the roof. I think that this is going to be like an interesting point for you to be able to actually come in from the roof and try to attack that way. The map has a lot of big windows. I believe they are shoot through a lot of open areas. So I'm really curious to know how gameplay is going to work for the defenders here. Definitely interesting. The developers have stated that the map is one and a half times bigger than Embassy Raid, which is the map with the bulletproof windows. I think that's the only map with that. And it takes place in the early morning. The interesting thing about this map is that they are adding a unique feature called entrance shutters, which I'm assuming is preventing the attackers from getting in through the front i'm assuming so that's pretty cool so yeah i just tried out the map right now and uh it's pretty big the map is about four floors but it's really like a wide map there are shutters on the first floor and somewhat of the second so i can't see why the swat would want to go onto the roof because it's really like the only accessible spot at this point like these big metal looking things that you can't really shoot through or go through i'm assuming that there's a button somewhere but i can't seem to actually find it i'm not really sure where it's at i would imagine it would be behind the front desk but i didn't see it maybe they just haven't edited it in yet or maybe it's in a different location entirely i don't know so i'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to open that one thing that i will say is that there is a lot more cameras in this map than there is in a majority of other maps usually in other maps there's like three but this one has around six which for sure covers a lot of ground a majority of the cameras are centered around the vault though there's a big vault with money gold bullion and an interesting painting that almost looks like a meme that i've seen before scratch that two paintings the hostage can also spawn in there too. There's like five different locations for the hostage, but I think that the uh, vault is just a cool looking area. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the map there. Pretty cool. So let's move on to the last thing here. They're adding in four new gadgets, two for the suspects and two for the attackers. The attackers are going to be receiving a flare, which I'm assuming the purpose of it is to blind people that are trying to come in with night vision goggles and also see in the dark. But I think my biggest criticism with it is that it actually does run out and I I don't think that the flare should really run out. I think that it should just keep burning throughout the entire match, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, another thing that the suspects are getting is a door wedge, which at first I didn't know how to use, but I later figured out that all you have to do is crouch in front of the door, hold G, and it'll activate on the door. This will prevent attackers from getting in, but I have no idea how the attackers are supposed to combat that, aside from just going into a different location. Pushing on to the attacker's new gadgets. One thing that might be able to actually open up that locked door is something that's called a C2 door charge. Having swap four flashbacks placing a c2 door charge to instantly blow open doors and killing anyone behind it is very useful when doors are locked so that might actually counteract the door wedge i could be wrong though can't say for sure i haven't actually played against anybody on these maps i've just been exploring them but yeah i did use it on a door and it was pretty effective in opening it and i think it blew off the handle too so it's a neat little toy that the attackers get i would love to see somebody get fucking destroyed on the other side of that door though that would be kind of cool but uh, yeah moving on to the last thing here the attacking team is going to be receiving 
getting night vision goggles and they don't look too bad i wouldn't say that it's realistic but you know it's definitely better than nothing it's not like the whole screen is like black and there's just like a green little hole in the middle it's basically like a majority of the screen has been turned into like an oval shape and you could kind of still see the outskirts because it's not really black it's more like shaded like a very dark color and the insides are kind of like a scion greenish blue type of color so it definitely gives the player a lot of viewing still even with the goggles on it's just very beneficial to the attackers when they actually go in at dark time and the power's turned off this update is going to bring a bunch of bug fixes obviously and that's pretty much the update itself this is a pretty healthy size update i would say the player base hasn't been doing so hot so i'm hoping that this actually brings them back they should definitely post on their youtube about this like do like a cool little trailer with like the new update new weapon new gadgets brand new dynamic map you know stuff like that to get people excited again so that's where i'm gonna end the video if you're someone that enjoys the fact that i cover games like zero hour be sure to share the video like the video comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel subscribe and ding the bell you never know you might find something that you like on the channel if you would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye